What's project management all about? In this video, I want to illustrate the answer to that question by looking at the 10 most important concepts in project management. These 10 concepts are not in priority order. In a simple way, I've tried to organize them roughly in the order in which they occur in the project management lifecycle. But as you'll know, projects are iterative. Lots of things go on throughout the project. So this is a simplification, but it's a way for me to organize my top 10 concepts. And the first of my top 10 project management concepts is project definition. I like to think of project planning as being like the framework of a building. Project definition is like the foundations, the groundwork upon which it rests. And therefore, it is absolutely vital to understand the role of defining your project clearly, being sure what your project is and what your project is not, and having a clear statement, the goal, the objectives, and the scope. And that leads to the second of my top 10 concepts, which is the triangle of balance or the triple constraint. And I like to think of the triple constraint as being between time, cost and quality. That is to say that you can resolve any project management question by reverting to the question of whether the solution is in compromising time, compromising cost, compromising quality, or indeed compromising scope. Because in the US, the triangle of balance is often articulated as time, cost, scope. Which is right. Well, the real answer is that the triangle of balance isn't a triangle at all. It has four constraints. It's a quadruple constraint, if you like, between time, cost, quality, and scope. But whatever the challenge you have in your project, you can always resolve it either by taking more time, by acquiring more resources, more budget, by reducing the quality to make things easier to do, or reducing the scope so that you've got less to do. The triple or the quadruple constraint is never going to answer any of your questions, but it will make your choices crystal clear. At number three is value. And value is the combination of cost on the one hand and benefit on the other. And projects which do not produce benefits are not worth doing. And the measure of whether your benefits are sufficiently worthwhile is whether your benefits outweigh your costs. And if your benefits outweigh your costs by a big enough margin, then the project on its own terms is worthwhile. And your job then becomes one of making sure that in spending your budget and in using up your resources, you deliver the benefits you promise so that your benefits do indeed outweigh your costs and you've delivered value for your sponsor, for your client, boss, for your organization. At number four is governance. And governance is about steering your project so that it goes in the right direction, it retains that right direction, and you do things right. The three key roles of governance are setting direction, making decisions, and overseeing your project. Setting up the right governance structures is vital to the successful delivery of any project under any methodology or approach, be it agile, be it predictive, be it any form of hybrid. And one of the key elements to good governance and something that I almost gave a place in itself on my list of top 10 concepts is the idea of stage gates, particularly for a traditional predictive project, putting in breakpoints in your project where clear decisions are made to go or to not go forward is a vital part of project governance. The fifth of my 10 vital concepts is the concept of 
a stakeholder, someone who has a stake in your project, someone who is affected by or can affect your project. They have a connection to your project in any way, shape or form. And your job as a project manager therefore becomes one of engaging with those stakeholders in a respectful and productive manner to hear their opinions, to consult their advice, to learn from them and to influence them. At number six, whatever style of project you're doing, a key concept is that of planning. Even if you're not delivering a traditional predictive planned style of project management, there will always be some planning to do. Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. This is about understanding how and when and where you will deploy your resources. If you don't know the answer to that question, then you haven't planned, you're not prepared, and therefore you are setting yourself up to fail. And my seventh key concept is resources. Your job as a project manager is to gather your resources, to allocate those resources, and to control the deployment of those resources. And it's important to understand that those resources come in many shapes and sizes. Yes, they're people. There are also assets, real estate, huge pieces of equipment. There's also smaller pieces of equipment, tools. There's materials. There are components. And of course, the master resource, which can be traded for all of those resources with which you can buy those resources is money. Therefore, budgeting is part of your resource management. I've used the word a number of times already in this video. So my eighth key concept is control and project controls. Project controls are the things that keep us on plan. Or if for any reason we drift away from our plan, it's controls that we use to bring us back on plan. And there are many types of project control from the monitor and control cycle, risk management, version control, configuration management and reporting. Those are all great examples of project controls. But the idea that we have methods, processes, procedures to stay in control of our project and to stick to plan and to handle things if we drift away from plan, such as change control, that is core to our understanding of good project management. And of course, if you come from an agile background and you say, well, a lot of those things aren't relevant to us as agile practitioners, that may be so. But think about sprints. Think about retrospectives. Think about drawing down and use of burn down charts as you deliver stuff. All of those are the project controls that are relevant to agile. So whether you're a traditional or an agile project manager, project controls are still vital. Therefore, the last two of my top 10 project management concepts are both project controls. And at number nine, it's risk. The concept that projects are uncertain and that uncertainty leads to consequences. A risk is an uncertainty that can have an impact upon outcomes. Understanding that is central to understanding risk, because once you understand that a risk is uncertainty that has an impact, we immediately see that risk is principally characterized by the level of uncertainty, the likelihood that it'll happen and the impact that it will have if it does. Because projects are novel, because they need to do things within a fixed time scale, and we need to use only the resources that are available to us. Projects are inherently uncertain. They are inherently risky. Consequently, risk management is a core discipline for any project manager. And at number 10, the last of my vital core concepts for project management is the monitor and control cycle or the monitor and control loop during delivery of your project. The most important thing you can be doing is to be monitoring what's happening and when the project starts to shift away from your plan, intervening, 
to control the project. Then you get on with delivery, monitor what's going on and make more controls. And the faster you go around that cycle, the more control you will have over your project. If you wait too long to monitor it, then things will have gone wrong in a substantial way and the problems will multiply. If you check up frequently, you'll spot problems when they're small. The interventions you need to bring your project back under control will be minor and you can quickly check whether they've been successful. I hope you've enjoyed this rundown of my top 10 project management concepts. If you have, please like this video and why not subscribe to our channel for loads more great project management content and to hear about it as soon as it drops, hit the notification bell and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.